Hey guys, what's going on? Tusman Fad here with a with the first tutorial on my brand new computer. Now this thing is actually pretty nice. So, well enough with that. So, so you probably came here wondering how to get this little CPU uh, window over here. Well, it's very easy. So I'll go ahead and show you how to install it. Now, note this is only for Windows 7. So if you have Windows XP or any older version of Windows, this will not work. So to go ahead and do this, you want to go ahead and right-click on your desktop. Go ahead and choose gadgets. Wait for this to open up here. And then in this bottom corner, you want to click where it says get more gadgets online. And it will open up your web browser. And here you're going most likely it's going to be uh, somewhere in here because it's the feature desktop gadgets. It's one of the most popular. So once you find it, uh, go ahead and click get it now. It's called the all CPU meter. And what this basically does is it displays the stress and all kinds of stuff for your system right on this little thing. So what do you want to do once you get to this website? Go ahead and click the download button. And this you don't really need to read this carefully. Just go ahead and click install. And go ahead and save it to your desktop. And then close your web browser. And then now you will see that it is on your desktop. Go ahead and open that up. If it gives you the security warning, go ahead and click install. Now you will see it is right here. So you can make this bigger if you want to by clicking the little wrench and choosing size. Now I like it at 125 because it's just the right uh, size for me. So as you can see here, it will show all of your cores. Since I only have two, it will only show two. And it will show all your RAM right up here and stuff. Right here it will show your processor brand. You can see I have an AMD. Uh, if you have an Intel, it will show the Intel logo right here. And down here, you can see that it has a little graph for the uh, for the processor usage history. So that's basically it for this tutorial. If you have any questions for me, go ahead and uh, ask me. I'll be glad to answer them. So I'll see you guys.